Willie Pep had perhaps the greatest footwork of all time. He masterfully blended his defense and his offense together, sidestepping his opponents as they crashed into the ropes and skillfully steering them into his punches. His footwork has recently seen a resurgence in MMA, with Dominic Cruz citing him as a major source of inspiration. You already know some of his best moves if you've seen my video on TJ Dillashaw. But today, we're going to be looking at something we've never covered before. Pep's most prevalent, versatile, and powerful technique. His shifting V-step. Rather than shifting by moving forwards or backwards, Pep changed stances by stepping one foot to the other, as if you were about to shuffle, and then stepping out into a new stance, making the shape of a V. This made his movement incredibly non-telegraphic, and opened up whole new angles from which to attack, or retreat, offline. Pep used this V-step to move 180 degrees with little effort. On the few occasions that Pep's competitors managed to corner him, they would often find that they had switched places suddenly, and now they were the ones trapped in the corner. In this clip, you can see Pep V-step around his competitor in a way very similar to how Lomachenko does it today. Pep would even V-step as he circled the ring, constantly switching stances and never giving his opponents a chance to set up an angle of attack. The way that Pep squared himself up every time he stepped his feet together meant that he could smoothly move in any direction he chose. To use a chess analogy, his one stanced opponent was stuck with certain positions from which they could attack, like a bishop, while Pep could move in any direction, like the queen. As you watch this clip, see if you can guess which way Pep will move next. After placing his feet together, Pep could either step out and jab, check hook with his left or his right, and turn either hand into his power hand, i.e. his rear hand. Defensively, Pep's stance switching allowed him the full array of head movement, letting him lean far back towards his new rear foot. Pep was also an expert at making his opponents chase and overreach leading them right into his attacks. There will be a full breakdown of Willie Pep in the future, but for now, stay tuned for a breakdown of another great MMA fighter who heavily utilizes Pep's footwork. And by the way, I have decided to write that book on footwork, so please leave suggestions for fighters and techniques you'd like to see included in the comments. From the Modern Martial Artist, this has been David Christian, wishing you happy training.